the more we attach ourselves to and rely on other things and other people, the more vulnerable and unstable we become. We must first make ourselves strong and balanced intrinsically. Nobody but ourselves can make us happy, and we should never ever rely on someone or something as our only source of happiness. If we do so, then we are essentially pedaling in the wrong direction on a broken bicycle. We must first fix our bicycle or work on ourselves to develop ourselves to be strong and balanced intrinsically, and then we will be pedaling in the right direction and will be able to get to places that we could have never before have gotten to if our bicycle was still broken. If we feel that we need to be around this person or we need this thing in our life to be happy, then we must realize that we are looking for happiness in the wrong places. We must search internally. These things and people should not be the only source of happiness. They should enhance happiness. Finding true contentment will lure positive things and people into our lives and allow us to fully and purely benefit from our relationships with these people and things because we won't have an unhealthy, relying relationship with them. We must be honest and aware if we have any unhealthy relationships with anything, such as social networking sites, substances, ideologies, or habits that are leaving us stagnant, or any one, such as negative people that are limiting to our growth. And we must strive to change these things, because if we don't, progress will never begin. We must spend time learning about ourselves and about the world around us. A lack of contentment is often associated with a lack of wisdom about oneself. The more we learn about ourselves and about the world around us, the easier it will be to achieve pure and true contentment, thus allowing us to focus on the people and the things in our life with a healthy approach, allowing them to nurture and feed our happiness rather than having our happiness be in the palm of their hand. Once the true self is found and we begin to make ourselves happy, then the rest of our relationships will flourish to levels never before possible, especially if we were still relying on these relationships as our only source of happiness. Health can exist without joy and contentment, but true and pure joy and contentment cannot exist without good health, so it's very important to strive for good health. And health is a little bit different for everybody, but in a fundamental sense, it is a well-balanced emotional, physical, and physiological, and spiritual state. Integrating and practicing these things into my life has allowed me to experience life in a whole new way and to achieve much, much higher levels of contentment, be happy, or just feel great, and to really appreciate my relationships so much more. So that's what inspired me to share this with you. No one or no thing can make you happy but yourself. They can temporarily satisfy you with happiness, but pure, sustainable, genuine happiness is only found internally without the reliance on anything or anyone. The more we attach ourselves to and rely on other things and other people, the more vulnerable and unstable we become. We must first make ourselves strong and balanced intrinsically. Never forget to nurture yourself with nature.